r slash ask reddit what is the best response when a cop says do you know why i pulled you over i once got pulled over for speeding behind a cop i told him that i noticed i was behind a police officer and assumed we were traveling at a safe speed he said it's on me this time and i didn't get a ticket i got a ticket for it he never broached the subject of his own speeding, but told me that I wasn't supposed to be following him like I was because if someone in the opposing lanes was speeding, interstate, he needed the cushion of space around himself to slow down and pull a U-turn across the grassy median to pursue them. If the taking the ticket to court hadn't required a 3.5 hour drive I would have definitely argued it. Which as a side note, argue every ticket. Show up early, well dressed and polite. At the very least tell the judge that you had a question about the ticket, make something up, and after calling in you were simply told to come to the scheduled court date. Usually if the ticketing officer doesn't show up the case is dismissed, and even if he does as long as you are polite and honest there is a chance the judge may reduce the fine. E. So the cop not showing up part sounds like it's an old wives tale I might have fallen for, and as another user pointed out, setting a court date might actually end up with you having to pay court fees depending on your local laws. That said, I guess I would say use the time between your ticket and the initial date to research your local laws and see if it's viable for you to contest it. Like anything, use your own discretion. At least in Germany you should always say no because otherwise whatever you did was intentionally. If you do it intentional Lloyd her situation gets worse for you. So hypothetically speaking, what should I say if I had about 20 pounds of crystal meth in my trunk? Like I said, this is completely hypothetical. YouTube taught me to shout am I being detained and to inform the officer that I'm not driving, I'm traveling. Drew Carey said it best. When it rains really hard, I like to run stop signs just to make cops get out of their cars. Make them stand there in the rain in a big puddle. Alright you, know why I stopped you? Yeah, know why I ran the sign? Well, if you don't know, sir, I'm afraid we're both wasting our time. I did that once when a teacher asked me if she knew why she had punished me. Did not make her laugh. Every rookie that I've had to FTO for the last decade has been told, in no uncertain terms, that that question is the truest sign of a lazy cop. When you pull someone over for speeding, you tell them why you pulled them over, maybe ask why they're speeding, issue the warning ticket, and get back on the road. If you want to wrangle a confession out of someone, go for detective. We ain't a big enough department to have you on the side of the road for 20 minutes trying to get the geriatric retiree to admit to not signaling a turn 4 miles back. Besides, the old coot has had that blinker on since the 90s. As an attorney that used to do the traffic docket, I never understood why officers ask this question. Best case scenario is someone says something like because I was speeding. Honestly an admission is rarely needed to enforce a traffic ticket anyways. Edit. I wanted to add that officers seem to not ask this question much at all anymore. Many have learned to be excellent conversationalists, and know that walking up to a window and saying do I know why I pulled you over, is going to immediately get the person to put their guard up. Even if the question is asked almost nobody says yes. I was going 85 in a 70. No. So that is the correct response. Even if you're doing 90 in a 15 with a kilo of coke strapped to the roof. No, so they are fishing, and the question is either absurd or condescending, depending on how you look at it. I got away with saying something else once. He asked for my license and registration and then asked if I knew why he pulled me over. He was looking right at the registration as I folded the paper open to reveal the license plate stickers still paperclipped to it. I said, probably because of these. He ran my license and told me to put them on ASAP. All in all nothing bad happened. What seems to be the officer? Problem. So please exit your hands. With your vehicle up. Put your back behind your hands. Stop arresting resist. Resist stop arresting. I was pulled over once right after getting donuts at the convenience store. I was driving my boyfriend's truck and the cop thought the truck was stolen because of a mix up at the DMV. I was so scared and tired. I was a new mom at the time, and was trying to convince this officer that I didn't steal the truck. 
He figured out the whole mess and called the DMV for me to correct the issue. Sweet man. I told him I wished I could have given him something to show my appreciation and he said it was no big deal and left. I forgot I had donuts on the seat next to me. Talk about a missed opportunity. What seems to be the problem? Edit. Never admit to anything and always operate under the assumption that law enforcement isn't there to protect your innocence. They are there to establish guilt. Edit. Don't be rude, disrespectful, or condescending. Cooperate fully. Be friendly and be considerate of the dangers law enforcement has to encounter on a regular basis but know your rights and that you have the right not to incriminate yourself. Got pulled over once for no apparent reason. Officer says he clocked me doing 70 in a 55. I had cruise control on at 59 and both my car and Google Maps told me I was under 60. I gave him such a, are you stupid look. I'm not sure how it would have escalated, but at that exact moment my phone started screeching at me about an amber alert with a vehicle description similar to what I was driving. Things got cleared up pretty fast after that. Cause I'm young and I'm black and my hat's real low. I said that to a cop once. I'm old and and white. Cop almost passed out laughing. Then he gave me a ticket anyway. So this story is about my mom when she was pregnant with me. At 8 months pregnant, my mom has been suffering almost constant migraines that make her so nauseous. She gets permission to leave work early one day because she's been throwing up. My poor sick mother said fuck the speed limit and took off home. A Maryland state trooper pulls my mother over for going 55 in a 35. He comes up to her window and she rolls it down and says officer I know I'm speeding I live just down there. I'm going to throw up. Please let me puke at my house. The officer starts getting super upset at my mom and asks for her license and registration. My mom opens her door and pukes on his shoes. She gets a ticket and has to go to court. In court, the officer also wants my mom to replace his shoes. The judge goes you saw a woman that pregnant who said she was nauseous and still insisted on stopping her, you're such an ass, and dismisses the ticket. I'm 25 now and it's my mom's favorite story about her pregnancy with me. Because you're looking for more people for your board game night and you thought I looked like a likely candidate, I have pandemic and mysterium in my trunk right now. Where is the event being held? Should I bring snacks or sodas or do you think someone else will take care of that? Oh yeah. Where is it being held? Where are you going? Come back. I'm so lonely. My dad got pulled over and answered that question with because I was driving with my head up my ass. The cop just laughed, walked back to his car, and drove off. My dad's friend drove a truck under a bridge that was too low for it and so it got stuck underneath. When the cop came up alongside the window my dad's friend said, So, where do you want this bridge delivered? I'm in the NYPD and we're told to never ask that question. Why? Because maybe I pulled you over for a broken taillight but you know you're wanted for murder in Atlanta so you're ready to fight to the death. Since most cops are killed during car stops we try to practice better tactics. Me. I was trying to keep up with the traffic. Cop. There is no traffic. Me. Exactly that's how far behind I am. Related. When a cop pulled me over, a sober person driving drunk friends from party to party, my girlfriend got irate and told the cop that I was a good guy and that he should leave me alone. I also remember her saying something like fuck seatbelts. This was back in the day. The officer asked how much have you had to drink, young lady? And she replied, obviously not enough because you are still pissing me off. And I guess it worked because the cop let us go. Cop. Do you know why I pulled you over? Fletcher. Depends on how long you were following me. Cop. Let's start from the top. Fletcher. Here it goes. I sped. I followed too closely. I ran a stop sign. I almost hit a Chevy. I sped some more. I failed to yield at a crosswalk. I changed lanes at an intersection. I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light and speeding. Cop. Is that all? Fletcher. Number. I have unpaid parking tickets. Be gentle. I got pulled over for telling another driver about a speed camera once. The police officer stood there for 10 minutes saying something along the lines of, I know what you did. You know what you did. What did you do? I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Why did you signal that other driver? 
The one with a headlight out? He didn't have a headlight out. He did so I was just telling him. He didn't have a light out. Am I free to leave? Yes. Just don't do it again. Do what again? Drew Carey said it best. When it rains really hard, I like to run stop signs just to make cops get out of their cars. Make them stand there in the rain in a big puddle. Alright you. Know why I stopped you? Yeah. Know why I ran the sign? I'm a police officer and I have never asked this question. To me, it's extremely unprofessional and condescending. We are also trained to conduct traffic stops in a specific seven-step approach which includes telling the driver exactly why they were stopped. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's video drop a like and subscribe. Please check out more of our videos or our playlist. It is perfect for when you want background noise or to put on when you are falling asleep. Once again thank you and have a great day.